Female Southern Woman. Um, today, I am getting out all of my Thanksgiving and Halloween decorations. Um, so I thought I would come on live and let you guys watch me. I'm going to walk over there and make sure I've got it on Wi-Fi right quick while we're waiting on a few people to come in. And this is just going to be a crazy fun uh, video. Let me check my Wi-Fi, y'all. It's on. Okay. Um, anyway, if you're just tuning in, we are going to get out Halloween decorations today. While I wait on a few more people, oh, and Thanksgiving, of course, while I wait on a few more people, I'm going to make me a cup of tea, and I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Um, it is Monday, on Mondays. If you've been watching me for very long at all, you know that I uh, get up on Monday, and I clean up my kitchen, I clean off my stove top, wipe everything down, use the SOS pads if I need to. And I wipe out my microwave, and it's kind of like my clean the kitchen day, okay? Every Monday I do that, and I typically clean out the refrigerator and wipe it down too. And so Chris left to go with his daddy to Florida this morning, and I said, before you leave, will you bring up my Halloween and my Thanksgiving decorations? And he said, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to get those out. I just thought I'd let you... Uh, watch me today for fun just because I'm finally by myself for a change and uh, let me get me some tea well, let me tell you what happened to my tea uh, May drinks all kinds of teas hot teas and one of the ones that she likes is called chai tea and um, Chris was cleaning up in here the other day just one second let me get some ice
child, and this is from Dollar General. I'm a Dollar General girl. And this I've had for years, and it came from Dollar General. I will have to bring it up close and let you see it. It's so cute. Um, I had two of them, and I think one of them broke. One was a man and one was a woman. Whatever I've got in here, I've got wrapped up in an Aldi sack, so we'll... Um, I'm going to show you these up close, too, because these came from Cracker Barrel. Every once in a while, I splurge, y'all, and go to Cracker Barrel. Um, so let me sit these out. I really should wrap them better than I do. Probably. This one looks like it's got something on it. It does. Okay. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming around on the other side because we got another basket to empty. And I'm going to show you some things close up. All right, here's my little man. Is he not the cutest thing ever? And I got him from Dollar General years and years ago, and he used to have a pointed hat on, but it's broken off, but I still use him because he's cute. And these are the salt and pepper shakers that I got from uh, Cracker Barrel one year, and they match a, a um, turkey that I have. I'll show y'all. I got two sets of those because I thought they were so cute to sit around the turkey. Okay. Now for this basket. I've got a couple of votive candle holders like this, just fall colors. Got these at Dollar General. I have got this pumpkin that my mother-in-law got me. One year, and I really don't know where she got it. Probably Kirkland's or somewhere like that. And it's heavy, and it's kind of an orange and cream on the bottom with an orange. Well, it's gold, a gold stem. But she got me this year when she got me this one year for Christmas. I always tell her to buy me a Christmas or fall decoration for Christmas because that's what I like to get. This is just a pumpkin. I had these in my window of my sink window last year because when I was showing y'all one of those older videos, I seen them in the window. I got that one and this one to kind of sit together. See? And um, these are called Ashland. I really don't know for sure where they came from. I don't think they came from Dollar General. I got this one year, I believe, at Kirkland's, and it's a it's a wire basket just full of fall uh, things like leaves and uh, pumpkins and seeds and, you know, just cute. And they're all fake, so they're not going to go bad. Like, it's got fake walnuts and pecans in it in the bottom. See that? I just think it's cute to sit around my house. Okay, I got this at a yard sale. It says give thanks, and it's just cute as it can be. Give thanks. Now this is kind of ugly in a way, but kind of cute in a way at the same time because I love birds of any kind. And these are my crazy owls. <laughs> they're on a metal stand, and they're just really fall looking to me, but they're a little spooky looking in a way, but I still like them because I love any kind of bird, no matter what kind of bird it is. I'm a bird nut. Love them. I won't ever forget y'all. Well, I'll tell y'all that when we get in the living room. Okay, this is something from Dollar General and I got a couple of different ones. Um, and I usually put them on the mantle and they're for votive candles, but they're really cute, especially when they're lit up. You can buy really inexpensive things and really doll up the house. These came from Dollar General. Are they not the cutest things ever? They had them about four years ago. And um, so I got a couple of them. Aren't they cute? I usually hang these uh, near the fireplace, but this year my fireplace is covered up, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Y'all have to help me. 
I may hang them in my kitchen window. Okay, here's a couple of picture frames with pictures of May in them. When she was little and I bought her that cute little sweater and I went and had her pictures made at Olin Mills. This is a picture where we took our singles Sunday school class out. Um, actually, this is one of the guys that went to Sunday school class with us and he had took a trip up one fall and took pictures. And this is one of his photographs. They were just so pretty. Here's my man that goes with this other little lady. Uh oh. I thought that I had thrown one away, but I didn't. So here's the little man, and here's the little woman. Aren't they cute? They stand up good, too. All right, I got another owl. Um, salt and pepper shaker, scarecrow. A little lady with some fruit, pilgrim. And then I bought these years ago at Dollar General too. They're little uh, turkeys and they sit on the side of the counter and they hang their feet off. And one of them lost one of his feet, but I still use him. Aren't they cute? Just simple stuff, nothing elaborate. The fanciest thing I got is this, okay? This is what I got at Cracker Barrel one year. This is the nicest fall decoration that I have. Everything else comes from the dollar store, pretty much. Um, this is a turkey. And I put her on my table in the middle every Thanksgiving. And she has a base, and then <coughs> she sits down on the top like this. And like I said, this came from Cracker Barrel. Isn't it cute? I love it. So, um, she's my little Thanksgiving turkey. I love her. So, she goes in the dining room. Um, so, we will just start putting some of this stuff out. I'm going to bring y'all around. And let you just kind of see what I do. I was hoping I'd find my Halloween basket. This is this has none of my Halloween decorations in it. So I know Chris didn't bring all, all of my stuff. I know he did it, y'all. So anyway, I think I'm just going to lay this turkey on my table for now. And we're just going to go to the living room and start putting out some of this stuff. I got all the blinds open so the... So the uh, it might not be so pretty. Let me throw some stuff back down in this basket so we can just bring the basket back down. And y'all can stay on here if you want to and if you think it's boring, of course, y'all don't have to, but um, I just thought I'd see y'all today. So I'm gonna put some of this stuff back down in here, the stuff that don't break, and we're gonna take it to the living room and put it out. If y'all have something to put out, um, it's getting close to fall. I mean, it's, you know, I guess it's close enough that we can decorate a little. And so, I thought I would. I have to, most of this stuff is real lightweight. So, um, I'll have to go down and find my Halloween stuff and we'll have to, uh, bring it up to separate well, I'm going to put all this lightweight stuff in the basket and then we're going to the living room to decorate. Yeah, I have a big uh, Halloween bowl that's just a cheap black Halloween bowl that I got at the dollar store that I put my candy in. And I went to Ollie's Market uh, a couple of nights ago by myself and I found a huge thing of bubble gum. So I was going to put my bubble gum in that. And, um, all right, we're going to take this to the living room. All my decorations are not very heavy except for that turkey. I'm coming. 
Now my living room's kind of dark, y'all, because I painted it with a real warm. It's kind of a blue. Um, it's it's a blue color, but it's a warm blue. It is kind of like a um, what do you call it? Turquoisey in a way, you know. And this is my laundry room. I took the doors off because I got tired of moving them back and forth. And I actually keep curtains right here, like this. I have a very simple house. Actually, it's a lot bigger than the house I grew up in. So when we first moved here, me and Chris, the first house we lived in was about 1,100 square feet. The second house we lived in was... Um, 1,400 square feet, okay? So when we moved in this house, this house is about 18, well, it's about, yeah, 1,767 square feet, I believe is what it is. So when we moved in here, I just felt like, I, it was so big in here, I felt like it was too big. And I guess most people would be like, what? Um, but I just wasn't used to being in a big house, so I painted it warm colors so that it would be more cozy to me because it was all off-white. So that's what I did. So we'll put our, uh, our pillow, of course, on the couch. And I'm trying to think what I can do over here. Y'all just gonna have to bear with me for a minute. Let's do the mantle first, okay? Right now my mantle has mama's um, elephants on it, okay? Mama was an elephant nut, okay? So all these elephants were my mom's. And so we're gonna put the, the elephants back in this curio cabinet right here. This is mama's cabinet. And uh, she had all of her elephants in it. I didn't hardly keep anything that was mama's. I really didn't. A few Christmas decorations. Um, I kept this cabinet with the elephants in it, but a lot of her stuff I, I didn't keep. I'm just not much of a big hoarder about stuff. It doesn't bother me to get rid of stuff at all. I'm not very materialistic. But now I do love her elephants. So I kept them. So I'm just gonna put her elephants back in this case. And really, at Christmas time, I take these elephants out and I fill this up full of Christmas stuff that was hers, okay? She had the most beautiful stuff and uh, I got rid of a lot of it. Mama spent money on things a lot more than I do. Mama bought expensive things. Mama liked expensive, pretty things. Um, so she had a lot of really neat things. So whoever came to my yard sale racked up, right? Here, let me turn this light off. You can't really see it as good. Let me do it that way. It still shines in y'all's eye, don't it? Oh, well. There's her elephant case. Um, I'm going to turn it around so y'all can see it. This is just a fun camera day. So she's got those at the top, little white ones. And it's kind of hard to see because it's, but it goes all the way down and it's full of elephants. So anyway, now we're gonna do this mantle. This is me when I had blonde hair, y'all. The year that I met Chris. Look how different I look. But I was 29 years old with blonde hair. Okay. I still like to keep it up there just to remind him what I used to look like. <laughs> oh, me. So, let's see. I always usually the little scarecrow and stuff up here. Typically, I do. And then, I'm thinking about hanging my, uh, I'll turn y'all around 
for a second because I'm going to do something else right quick. Um, I have all my lights are on, so it's kind of messing y'all up. Let me turn them off. Um, I typically see this um, thing right here that holds like flowers right here. I typically take this out and I'll put my fall flowers in. And what I do is when I decorate, I just take the the stuff and I put it back in the same bin that the Thanksgiving and the, I put it back in the bin that I packed my stuff in. And that way when I put my stuff up, I just get my stuff back out, if that makes sense. In other words, I don't, uh, see I just put that down in there. I like that. And I don't, um, so then once I swap it, then I just turn around and I just put the old stuff back in the bin. And it's just easier that way. So instead of trying to keep everything current out and your new stuff out, especially at Christmas, that's what I do. Uh, it just makes a lot more sense to me. So I usually just sit stuff around and I, I like to hang these owls up high right there, so I think I'm going to, and y'all can watch me do that. I, I like to put the owls in our window that goes to the kitchen, so I just have to climb up here on the couch. And I usually put one facing towards the living room and one facing toward the kitchen, like that. And I put them right here on this hook. Like that. There they are. I do the same thing every year. I wonder if y'all do that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, let me turn this back around because it's not going to... The, the picture might not be quite as good, but it. I can't bend it as good. Okay. So we got these owls. I never know what to do with these. These are my problem. These are always a problem, and I never know what to do with them. Um, maybe we could put them... Uh, let's put them over here. This is a cabinet me and Chris have had since we got married. He had it before we got married. And um, maybe I could put the owls here. I had Jesus up there, so now I gotta do something with Jesus. I think I don't want him to break, so I'll put him right here. And let's put some stuff up there with the owl, with the owl, so he won't look so crazy. They won't look quite as crazy. Let's see. How about this hay bale? What I'll probably do is put this one. No, this one you gotta see the sunflower. Oh, for heavens! So what do you think? Does that look good? Good enough, right? At least I got somewhere to put them. Now normally, if you'll look at this on my wall right here, um, 
I've got spring flowers in it still. I'm kind of behind, ain't I, y'all? Y'all need to do like me and spruce up the house today. Or tomorrow. Or sometime this week. So let's get rid of the buttercups. And put in this uh, sprig of flowers that I bought at Michael's last year on sale after the holiday. Can go right here in my rocks. How's that look? Don't that look more fall? That looks better. Okay, any, mini, mini, mo. Then I have, I have several things that I need to update. I have this in here, which is out of season. So I might pack that up. It is in rocks as well, in a vase. And the red, I like to, I like to use the red because it looks good at fall. It looks good at Christmas. It looks good for Mother's Day. It looks good for Valentine's Day. It's very versatile, okay? Uh, so, I'm not going to worry with that, but I do need to change the flowers out of it. Um, every year, this flower right here, and I have some stuff probably in my closet in my bedroom. I actually use this same flower, but I take out um, the seasonal flowers, like the Easter lilies. Um, and I replace, and I'm going to take out the white roses, and then I replace them with fall flowers. Uh-oh, I took a sprig out. And that way, you know, I don't have to have a new thing of flowers. I just kind of change it out. Here, let me go put these down, and then I'll pick those up. So, just get out, you know, all you got to do instead of buying a whole nother thing, is just take the one that you've got and just go to Walmart or wherever. I got the, some of these at Walmart. And get you some flowers that are seasonal. Take your old ones out and replace it. And that way, um, it's really easy to go from spring, you know, to fall. And not spend a lot of money to do it. Okay, so let's see what else we got in our box. I'm just walking around with y'all today. So we got this humongous pumpkin. What in the world am I going to do with it? So, it's so big, y'all. We got several different spots we could put it. We could put something here. So let me go ahead and put one here. This is a um, thing that holds all my photos. And I did change out the photos the other day, and I put the girls' photos from their graduation in here. This is a, an award that May got when she graduated, so I could put it in the thing over there. Um, and we could put a pumpkin here. Is that one too big, you think? Or should I put... Um, is that one too tall? It might be too tall. Plus, this is wrought iron, and this thing on the wall is wrought, you know, like an iron. So, maybe I should use the iron one instead right there since we've got, you know, the thing on the wall. But I'll let y'all see the girls' pictures that I put in there. Then we got to decide what to do with this other pumpkin. Let's see. That's Amy. May, Amy, and these are their baby pictures. That's um, May, and that one's me and Amy. So I changed that out the other day. I'll let y'all see their Amy's graduation pictures. I don't think I ever showed them to you. But this is their graduation portfolios. There's May's. And here's Amy's. So I've got those on the um, piano. They both like to play the piano, so I hate to, um, I mean, I've got to keep it because they play it every time. They, May plays it every time she comes home from college and, and Amy comes up here and plays it uh, some too. So I don't plan on getting rid of my piano. 
I don't, I don't. So let's see. See what else we got to put on the mantle. I love getting stuff out at Christmas because it reminds me of my mama because I got so much of her stuff. Mama didn't have a lot of fall decorations. She was more of a Christmas girl. So, I love to get out uh, stuff. And I could put these right here. Put him there. And this is the leaves. How's that? And I guess it might look better. I guess that looks okay. Um, I was looking right here at this little thing that I got my manatee on. And I've got Mama's flower on it. I'm trying to keep the sun out of y'all's eyes. But this little thing right here that I keep by this chair, this is a spring flower. And then, of course, the manatee. I can put back in my box. And I think what we'll do there is put our big pumpkin since it's round and that's a circle. Put it there. And I might get me a little doily to put it on so it won't scratch this. I'm still old fashioned, I still use doilies. Sometimes I do. I can put my turkeys right here. And a couple of pumpkins, maybe. I only have one little tiny pumpkin. I need to get one that's another one. Oh, look over here. This is my... This is my table. This is the side of the uh, couch that I sit on. You can tell it's a mess. <laughs> this is another summer flower that we got to get rid of. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm going to put right there for now. I mean, this needs to go in something. I could put this, y'all, in um, as well. We could put it right. I don't want to put it in that red thing. I guess I could put it in this. It ain't gonna look good in that. It needs to go in a vase by itself because that's how an orchid grows. So we're gonna have to find something to put this in later. And I guess over there for my table, the only thing I'm gonna do is for now, until I go get my Halloween stuff, is just put a pumpkin over here for me. Okay, I've got a couple of votives we can do something with. Maybe they should go instead of those, uh, that's what I'll do. I'm actually gonna put the votives um, over here instead of these pumpkins. What do I think? These pumpkins are ugly, they're cheap looking. You know, they really are. Um, so I've got these pretty little votive things that I got at the dollar store. And what I'll do is I'll put one on each side of this, be strong and courageous. Okay, I don't wanna take that down. We need all of the 
spiritual power we can get in our house. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. And I believe um, I believe it was Patsy that sent me. Somebody sent me that, and I believe it was Pat. I'm trying to remember her name. I'm pretty sure it's Patsy. Y'all, I'm terrible with names, so if I if I don't get your name right, don't please don't let it hurt your feelings. Okay. Her husband's name's Alan. Why can't I think of her first name? Anyway, so now we got this stuff to do something with. What are we gonna do with it, y'all? Oh, I gotta show y'all something else too. I've got some candles up there burning. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what to do, y'all. This needs to be stood back up. I like to put it right there. And let's put this back where it goes. Close these. I put that boat in right there, I guess. Stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do when we move. Get rid of all of it, I guess. Get rid of it all. I've got to find a flower to go in this, y'all. Now, the only thing we've got, we just got a couple of little things left. So, I'm going to put this owl over here next to my table where I sit. Maybe I can light some smelly candle in it. And I'm going to put this little pilgrim lady on the top of it. And then, see... And then I'm going to, um, the only thing we got now is a placemat, and that's pretty much it. So, and this, we can put this in the dining room. So, now what I do is I just take everything that I'm putting up, and I put it back in the tub. Okay, and that way when I get ready to put up my Thanksgiving stuff, I will get it out. Normally I take down Thanksgiving when I'm putting up Christmas, so what will happen is when I'm putting up my Thanksgiving stuff, I'll be pulling out the spring stuff, and I'll put it in my Christmas bins, and that way when I put up my Christmas, I'll bring out the spring stuff again. Does that make sense? Um, it's just easier to do it that way. So the only thing we didn't do anything with was the orchid and this. And I'm going to try to find something to put that orchid in. Um, and this is our dining room. <clears throat> <clears throat> These are just, <clears throat> sorry, cheap Walmart shelves. I'll put it there. And, um, duh. Oh, I want to show y'all one more thing. Okay. These, my friend, I don't know why there's dirty cups here. It's got to be, I think it's Papa's. These, my friend gave me, she had, I love orange. Orange is my favorite color. Y'all know that. So she gave me these, and they stay in here year round. So in the fall, they really look nice on the tables. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. <coughs> this 
is a turkey, and it's a scentsy turkey, and Chris thinks it's the ugliest thing in the world. He thinks it's so ugly, and every year when I get it out, he complains. But it has a uh, little heart holes in it, and, it, and it'll shine hearts up on the wall, or different, you know, like designs. But I like it, and I like the way it smells, so I use it, and he can just make fun of it if he wants to, can't he? This is Papa's stuff. You can tell Papa's been here. He left his... Actually, no. This is Amy's stuff. Why does she have stuff in my living room? That little turkey. When I've already cleaned up the house. But anyway, I'm going to have to get something for this, this right here. I bought these candles the other day because they were rated really well and they're Christmas and kind of a, you know, like fall scent. And you can't even smell them, y'all. So I would not recommend anybody buy these candles. Um, I don't know why they're rated so high. Apparently, nobody's ever had a really good candle. I like, um, I mean, some candles give me a headache. <clears throat> so I had to be real careful. But I do like for them to, at least if you're going to pay for a candle, you want to smell it, don't you? So anyway, I hope y'all had fun. I know it was kind of boring. But now I'm going to take these tubs back down there, and I'm going to look for my Halloween tubs. I think the Halloween tubs are orange. I don't know why he couldn't find but one orange tub. I know I've got more than one. But anyway, I hope y'all had fun just hanging out with me this morning. Um, I think I'm going to have a fun week. Uh, by myself, and I got me a new study Bible, and so let me go get it, and I'll show it to y'all. I got it at Ollie's, y'all, and the last time I went in there, I looked at it, and I wanted it, but I didn't spend the money on it. My brother has one of these, and he's a pastor, and it is an ESV, okay? Um, it is a crossway, large print, cloth, overboard. It is a study Bible, and I mean, it is nice. So when I come on here and I do the, nice, the next Bible study, I'm actually going to go back and read... Um, what this book has to say, you know, in the margins and stuff at the bottom before I continue on to make sure we have missed something really cool, okay? But it's got a lot more information at the bottom than my women's study Bible does. And it has illustrations and stuff in it. Now, this thing is an expensive book, but at Ollie's, it was... Um, $26.99. And Ollie's had a lot of my women's study Bibles. Um, and they were still up over $20. But those study Bibles, if you buy them online, are over $50. So, um, Ollie's, if you have an Ollie's near you, that's a great place to go and look through their Bibles and get a really good Bible for less money. Okay? Um, so I'm excited about this Bible. I'm excited. Um, it has illustrations in it. Um, and I need, I mean, I like all of that stuff. I just do. So um, I'll be looking at this while I'm by myself this week, having a good time in the Lord. And I will come and uh, do some Bible studies with you guys this week. Um, I plan on cooking some this week. And I already made the layers for my apple stack cake. And I made the apples. I just hadn't put it together yet. And I'm kind of just, I just hate to make this huge cake and nobody's here to eat it. So I was thinking about, I mean, if I put it together, I'm going to be the only one here to eat it. So I'm thinking about waiting and I'll just have to decide whether I want to wait or not on that to show y'all. But I guess that's it. That's all I'm going to say this morning. I hope y'all have a blessed day. I'll see y'all later today during Bible study. Um, there'll be no Braves games on the TV this week. And I'll be able to um, just have a blast. I know that sounds terrible to y'all probably. I love my husband dearly. I really do. But y'all have no idea, unless your husband is retired, you have no idea how exciting it is 
to get the house and the TV and because I like to listen to music. I don't watch TV. So the minute he walks out the door, I turn on Pandora and I turn it up really loud. And I do it during the week when he comes in from the post office. He'll listen to my music for about 10 to 15 minutes and then he turns it off. But when he's gone, it's on all the time. To me, music just puts you in a good mood. Um, I just love it. It just makes me feel good. It makes me have more energy to clean my house and to get up and get motivated. And so I turn it on. To me, it's a lot more motivated, a motivation than the TV, you know. Um, so I enjoy it. Y'all have a blessed week, and I'll see you uh, next time on Real Southern Woman, where we buy stuff at Dollar General. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Love ya.